that they've used for document securities gets in and contaminates the glass. So we think that's a pretty small percentage of folks that want to, to recycle um, shredded paper. So we think that the glass volumes are a lot more. So we, again, we chose to stay on this glass process. Um, several reasons for that, but that was the biggest is because of the weight and, uh, and how glass doesn't decompose. So in the programs, we ask that you don't put the shredded paper in the cart. Um, if you have shredded paper, we're going to have to come up with another means of maybe folks can drop that off at the recycling center where we don't run it through this automated equipment. We can still put it with our shredded paper that we have from our document. Um, secure shredding uh, services that we provide. Um, so shredded paper is a no-no. Um, styrene is another problem. Um, the little BBs that come packaging and things like that, there isn't a market for those, so we need to be careful of what kind of styrene is going in and styrofoam type products mm -hmm. that are packed right. around those big screens we all got, got at Christmas. Got Unfortunately, yeah. we don't have a market for those. Um, and then the last issue would be bags. And I'm not saying don't recycle them, but they're not recyclable in the single stream program for several reasons. One, they get messed up in the equipment. They round up around all the conveyors that are installed in the system. Um, so we ask that you, if you're going to use the bags from the stores, take them back to the stores. And each one of those providers here at Dillon's uh, and Walmart have a receptacle out in front of all their stores to put plastic bags in. We encourage you to go with the new burlap bags that are available and recycle and just take your own bags back and forth. And mm -hmm. in fact, some of the stores give discounts mm -hmm. if you use those. So that would be how we would handle the bags. Other than that, pretty much everything else from your phone books to books to magazines to the slicks that come in the paper to the newspaper all can go in one cart. Right. Well, we hope through this program and many others with the Hutch News and maybe the radio shows that we're going to be doing and even on the city's website that we can educate the community is this is a learning process for some people because I really believe we're going to see um, a lot more participation in this program than even what we had in the old program and I think the numbers probably are they're um, going to bear it out in the, the four or five other communities we've already converted that were much smaller some of them had recycling like um, similar to Hutchinson some are just new programs starting but from a general rule, everybody's excited about the fact that I have a place to put it now. That was some of the issues with the bag programs. Where do I put those bags between my two weeks? And then secondly, um, how easy it is just to put that material loose in the cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's what the, the comment I've heard is how easy it's going to be just to put it all in one cart, roll it out on my be day, done. and be done with it. Yeah. So, And again, it's, it's every two weeks, and I think we've had conversations in the past about the need for weekly recycling and, and, and the thought there is, is that's a cost issue. And right now I think we can be very successful with a, a continuation well, of you know, our two the, weeks. The funniest thing that's starting to come up is people are now saying, if I do this as you're laying it out, I don't have as much trash. So why can't we go to trash every other week and recycling every week? I think as this evolves and as recycling uh, evolves, we're going to see things like that come to the table. Maybe those are some options down the road. If we do a really good job with this, we may need to look at that. Yeah, that that's a great point, and I think you're probably right. So really, um, just overall from a participation standpoint, based on your experience and even what we've seen come in in the early signups, uh, we're probably right now in the 25% level of participation in the program. Is that correct? I, and it's maybe hard to tell because, because of the area of the week. Some people yeah. put bags out, some don't. Yeah, but sure. I think from a general uh, general rule in volume and tonnage um, in other cities and using our stat stats from Hutchinson, I would say 25 to 30, 30 of us are tops possibly. I think we're going to see 50 minimum on startup day and we're probably going to be upwards of 70 percent before it's all over with. And, and I hope that's the case. If you haven't signed up for a car, we'd sure like you to. That's great. And Carts will be rolling out to customers the first week in February. First about. week in February. Uh, they'll be all month long. We'll be running dual programs. So if you don't have your cart yet, be patient. They'll be coming um, through the month of February. We'll be running both the blue bag program and the cart program as well as we roll those out. The carts have started to arrive in town. Um, we have about 6,000 that's already been delivered up to the fairgrounds where we're storing them. And the crews will start delivering those around the first. Great. That, that's just great. And I did have a question here that if you don't get signed up now and, you know, it becomes June and you see your neighbors recycling, you can sign, sign up at any up time. Sign up time yeah. or chase the truck down or call the office right. when you see it. Well, Don, let's, let's talk a little bit about our compost program. And that was something that we had a lot of discussion during the uh, council meetings a couple of months ago that 
with this new program in order to keep the cost basically free we're eliminating the compost program and uh, we had about 1200 roughly customers in the compost program and I know we did hear some concerns and comments about well what am I going to do with that and so let's just kind of walk through some of the things that we talked about that we still want people to be aware of that composting is important but they're going to have to look at some other options. Okay. Well, first, the composting was an issue um, over the years, keeping the material clean enough in order to be accepted out of the landfill uh, in their composting pile that they use um, for turning material into compost. So some of the issues were whether that material was always getting to the right place at the right time, and, and we've had many discussions about if that's mm -hmm. working and not working. And um, one of the areas that we looked at was the, the amount of participation in that program it's actually declined over the last few years with us being restrictive on the type of materials we mm -hmm. could put in. You remember it had to be smaller than a pencil in order to be in it. So it was a declining service that was happening um, because a lot of the people have found that other alternative, one of which is a composting blade and they actually mow their, their lawn with a, with a mulching blade in order to uh, save that grass from, from getting in the need to even be composted. Second, a lot of homes are now doing composting in their backyards and using food waste as another um, additive in order to get the compost you know going mm -hmm. and heat it up in their backyard uh, and then thirdly there's a lot of lawn, ser lawn services that are picking up those materials and taking them out to the landfill currently so as that declined we we looked at what the options would be in order to save on recycling is the offset of that so I would still encourage people to do your composting if you choose either with um, mulching blade mowers um, continue to maybe do your own backyard composting or your third option is to take it out to the recycling uh, composting pile out at the, um, the landfill. And I know we have had discussions and, and questions that have come to my office about what about the fall and what am I going to do with leaves and you know those are some issues I know the city council has directed city staff to maybe come up with some ideas I'm not sure what that's going to be but we're going to be bringing some concept or some ideas back to the council about how we might be able to help with that or it may simply be that that's the homeowner's responsibility to take care well, of that. Well, the other thing they can do, it's a lot of those composting, because those loads had gotten contaminated, were going to the actual fill, um, where you, there are arguments that that material breaks down with the trash mm -hmm. and creates a methane gas or it helps the trash decompose a lot faster. A lot of those loads were going to the fill even today. Um, so you can put your grass and your clippings and your, and your trees uh, trimmings in your regular, regular green cart. It's not going to be a problem. You're just going to have to make space for that, but you would have made space with that with your new recycling cart. Yeah. Good point. Well, I think we've done a pretty good job of just covering the overall uh, recycling program. And, and again, I've heard a lot of excitement in the community about the new program, and I want to thank Stutzman's for being a partner with us in, in this whole effort and you for being here today. But I do want to, again, a comment to our citizens out there that if you haven't signed up for the recycling program that you can obtain the sign up sheets which should have come in in your bill I guess it would have been in December but you can do that by calling City Hall or calling Stutzman's Direct and we'll get you signed up and get the cart uh, out your way and again that'll start uh, sometime in in February. We'll in be February. In February so exciting program and we'll also have information on the city's website if you've had if you have questions about the program and what you can and can't do. So Don, again, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for joining us today on another edition of Community Cafe, The Inside Dish.